Hello friends, I am Sunil sir and I am back with a new video. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss about DNA extraction experiment and we will see what are the various requirements for the same. For this we need a banana, we need a motor pestle, we need a hypertonic solution, we need soap water that is detergent water, we need a masculine cloth to filter the banana and a test tube. So let's get started with the principle and the procedure. We have taken a banana, we peel off the banana and we are going to crush it by the help of mortar and pestle. We have to crush it in such a way that it becomes the pulp. And once you have crushed it properly, you are going to add distilled water. Crushing has to be done so well so that the banana becomes a slurry, a thin slurry of banana. Now what we are going to do, we are going to add distilled water. Now once we have added a distilled water, we add hypertonic solution and we add salt. Now why we add salt and why we add the detergent? The soap, the detergent helps to break down the cell membrane and release the DNA and the salt helps bring the DNA together. So the hypertonic solution, the salt water helps in bringing the DNA together and the soap the detergent water will lyse the cell so that the DNA is released from the nucleus. We have to keep on crushing it, grinding it so that the cells get lysed easily as it takes some time for the reaction to take place and after that what we are going to do, we are going to take the masculine cloth and we are going to filter it. When we are filtering it, the reason why we are filtering it, the reason is very much simple because the small pieces of the banana should not come in the extract. So you have to crush it, you have to grind it very efficiently and then slowly, slowly you are going to make it a pulp. Once the pulp is there, you have to little bit dilute it so that it can be easily filtered through the masculine cloth. Now in order to filter it, what we need? We need a beaker. In the beaker, what we are going to do? We are going to keep the masculine cloth. So place the masculine cloth in the beaker somewhat like this and once you have placed it little bit keep it inside so that it should not overspill. Now just pour the banana that you have used for DNA extraction. So what will happen now? All the lysed cell part, the DNA, the RNA, the protein everything now will get filtered. It will come down and you have to squeeze it. Be very gentle while squeezing it through the masculine cloth because we don't want the extract pulp also to enter inside. This is the sufficient amount of extract that we have got. Now the most important chemical that is required to get the DNA precipitated out. We need chilled ethanol. Remember more the chilled ethanol is there more easily the DNA is going to precipitate out. So pour tilt your test tube slightly from the side wall of the test tube pour the chilled ethanol as the chilled ethanol comes in contact with the banana extract the DNA will precipitate out you can see here the whitish thread like filaments or the structure is called is the DNA but this, this is not a pure DNA students but still it is sufficient enough to show to your examiner. With the help of spoon you can take it out which is called a spooling of DNA. Hope you have understood the DNA extraction principle in easy way. Don't forget to give a like. Thank you very much.